Grabe, it's so early pala. Wala pa si Miss Kay. And the best way to catch up sa ating mga friends ay coffee date! Ito na nga ngayon ang in para kumusay ng ating mga kaibigan na medyo matagal na nating hindi nakakatsikahan. And in Corina Interviews today, makikipagkumustahan tayo and have coffee with the Rufa Gutierrez. It's the Rufa G! It's the Rufa G! We're having coffee. I love this chair, the iconic chair. Ah, ito? Daku, kahit saan kami magpunta, dinadala namin yun. Oo nga, akala ko, just two of your guests had the same chair. Yun pala, dalan-dala mo wherever you go. Oo, pumunta kami ng Ilocos with Manong Chavit, kay Piolo Pascual, and El Nido sa Palawan. Ang bigat nito, ha? Pero dinadala namin yan. But I want a chair. From Modern Noble. Get it from them. A white chair. At gusto ko talaga, pag nanonood sila ng Corina Interviews, ito yung maaalala na chair. Pwes naalala ko, Miss Kay. O, kita mo? Nag-react? Ay, yeah. ganda. And first, coffee with Rufa G. Cheers! Hello! Cheers, Miss K. Ayan! Oh. Ayan! And nga pala, Rufa G is in the house! Miss K, I would just like to congratulate you. I saw already two or three episodes of your show. Yes. And talagang kanina kinakabahan ako. I wonder what she's going to ask me. But... I super love your show. Congratulations. I thank you. I love this show also. Talagang kwentuhan lang. It's been a while since we really sat down and chatted. And kanina, tinatanong ko nga, uh, 13 years old when you started showbiz mm -hmm. in the Philippines. I think I interviewed you and you were so... Young. Yes, but what really tumatak sa akin, yung interview mo kay mami. Because? Every time you have an in interview with her, parang hindi pa usong trending nun, pero pinag-uusapan talaga. <laughs> oh, and nga. she loves it kasi pareho kayong matapang. And oh, you would oh. ask such, um, I don't know. Pointed questions. Yes, pointed oh, questions. Sinasagot niya. Walang, sinasagot naman niya, oh, diba? Oh, walang inuurungan yung oh, si oh. Annabelle Rama, no? Ako She's... naman pa sweet. Uh, <laughs> Our last interview was pa sweet. Pa sweet pa rin naman ako. <laughs> oh, sweet ka naman talaga. Naughty lang kung yes. minsan. Talaga ang mga comment ni Rufa kanina pa ako tawa ng tawa. Ninyenier. Ako ang ninyenier views kaya sa iyo baka biglang may lalabas sa bibig mo. Dapat ano, kinukuha tayo behind the scenes. Correct. Mas bongga yung chikahan. <laughs> Mas bongga yung chikahan namin. Pero censored. Okay. Yes. Si Rufa, sabi ko ay Tagalog tayo ha. Kasi talagang Inglesera itong si Rufa eh. And you mm. really have a twang. Because pala, you grew up in the U.S. I was born in the Philippines, Makati Med to be exact, and my mom left for the States. I guess he realized that uh, my mom was really the one taking care of him. You know, emotionally, I guess, mentally at that time. Oy, so, magaling manligaw si Annabelle. Magaling manligaw, bisaya, <laughs> di ba? Bisaya. Pursigido, oh. di ba? So, ayun. So, we all went to the States. I think I was about three years old then, uh, kasama si Rocky. And they lived a new life in the States. Okay. At ayun, naging Caldero King ang daddy ko. Nagtrabaho sila. Naging very successful naman sila. Caldero King meaning, ito yung nilala ko ni Eddie Gutierrez yes. na mga pots and pans. Pans from Germany, <laughs> di ba? Na para sa akin, di ba, ang galing, di ba? I mean, doesn't mean na artista ka. Artista ka lang. You can do other things as well. Right, right. And that's what I learned from my parents. Naging masipag sila, maabilidad. Oo. Oh, oh. um, masipag kumita, di ba? Oh, oh. Eh, biro mo na paaral kayo sa pangangaldero niya? Yes. Oh, oh. At talagang, ano, I think number one siya sa buong Amerika no? Yes. Yeah. Eh, paano naman? Karinyoso. Hindi, at saka meron silang style ni Mami. So, si Mami yung tiga, si Mami yung salesperson. Magaling si Mami yung magbenta. Mm. So, siya yung tiga chika. Tapos si Daddy naman, yung pakaway-kaway lang. PR lang. Ah, Tapos okay. kakanta pa siya ng mga Elvis songs. 
<laughs> so, gaano ka iba ang paglaki sa Amerika tsaka yung paglaki dito? Like, for example, your kids, di ba? Mm -hmm. Dito sila lumaki. Eh, sa Amerika, paano? Well, I think back then, importante talaga yung walang social media noon. So, talagang nakikipaglaro ko sa ibang bata. You would go to the park, nagbabiking ka sa school, naglalakad ako sa school. Dito kasi, di ba, ang daming helpers, ang daming mga yaya. And sa tingin ko, mas privileged yung mga bata dito. And especially in this day and age, di ba, social media, iPad, laptop, everywhere. So, um, iba yung... Iba yung growing up in the States mm -mm. and growing up with a simple life na, yun, parang oh, oh. nakaka-miss yun. And you, you get to do chores, iba-ibang chores. Ito. And I remember, di ba, my mom and dad would say, oh, sige, tumulong kayo sa bahay, ay. ikaw, Rocky, magwalis ka. Ikaw, Rufa, magdilig ka. So, ang favorite chore ko nun, yung magplansya, magtupi ng clothes, Ayoko maglinis ng banyo, Kadirs. Uh, gusto ko, oh. ano lang, yan, nagva-vacuum, uh. luto-luto sa kusina, kunyari. Oh. But I remember, marunong ako gumawa ng rice noon. And then for... <laughs> Siguro naman, ano, ganun lang yun, di ba? Oo, ganun lang oh. sa rice cooker. Oh. So, marunong ako ganyan. So, cute kasi natututo kami talaga mm -hmm. ng household chores. Yun din ang training ng, ano, ng parents mo sa inyo, na magtatrabaho talaga sa bahay. Ay, oo. Oh. Kasi, you know, hindi naman sila mahirap lumaki, hindi naman sila mayaman na mayaman. You know, they still had to work. And they work very hard. Right. And para sa akin, yun ang importante. Those lessons that my parents imparted on us na, uh, you know, if you want to be successful in life, kailangan mo magtrabaho. Hindi ibibigay lang sa iyo 'yon na silver platter. Kailangan mong kumayod, magsipag ka um, para para lahat ng dreams mo ma-fulfill. Right. At naglalakad ka lang daw, naglalakad ka lang daw papuntang school. Yes, ang sarap-sarap kasi Oo. it was only three blocks away. Uh, galing sa bahay namin. So naglalakad ako, I made a best friend na half Filipino din. We still keep in touch. I still remember her name, Ligaya Kinderman. Hi! Ay, ligaya! O, oh, diba? <laughs> so, ano, yun yung mga memories na talagang hindi ko makakalimutan. And then, meron kaming rose garden noon. Mm -hmm. So, ako talaga lagi yung nag-aalaga sa mga roses. Oh, wow! Mahilig na ako magplantita noon, pero hindi pa ako tita. <laughs> So, yun yung mga memories na talagang hindi ko makakalimutan. Right. My childhood. And you were the on, you're the only girl, di ba? Yes. Lahat sila boys. Um, so, spoiled? Well, ako yung favored. <laughs> hindi kasi syempre, oh. had five younger brothers, two older brothers, Kuya Tonton and Kuya Monsheng. And so, lahat ng mga younger brothers ko, nagsishare-share sila ng damit, di ba? From Rocky, oh. Kasha pa yun sa mga ibang mga kapatid. O, oh, ibigay na, pinapasa na yung mga damit sa kanila. Kasama mo si Tonton doon? Hindi. Siyempre, ako yung only girl. So, hinihiram ko yung mga damit ni mommy or may mga damit ako para sa sarili ko. And ako yung ate. So, ako yung parang mother hen nila. Parang, I feel that I'm a chocolate vanilla swirl. Na parang, may tapang ako nakukuha kay mommy. And then, andyan pa rin yung sweet and yung pagiging... Desente. Desente na ako. <laughs> Or pagiging mabait oh. at yung charming ni daddy. Mm -mm. Mami ko naman, fierce, fighter, nanay. Oo. Oh, oh. Pagkailangan, siya. Pagkailangan. Oo. Oh, oh, oh. Hindi ako makapaniwala, 5'10 siya, pero siya daw ang pinakamaliit sa class noon. Yes. Kasi ha? I Paano? got my period late. Oh, okay. So pre- Period. Talagang, ano, <laughs> bata. I mean, maliit ako. I was really the shortest in my class. Either the first or the second. And then, feeling ko nga something was wrong with me. Kasi lahat ng mga kaklase ko, dalaga na. Ako na lang ang hindi. Oo. So, it arrived finally the day of my 14th birthday. Bigla na lang akong tumangkad and uh, patpati na ako noon and everything. And, you know, I just shut up. So, naging 5'10 na ako bigla Oo. through the years. Ano, so, did you like it? Did you like it na ang, ta yung, ang ibang babae ayaw nang sobrang tangkad? Ah? I think I got used to it na. Sanay na ako na mga Filipinos are shorter than me. Pero mm -hmm. so, pag nakakita ako na matangkad na Pinoy, wow, di ba? Ano kayong lahi na ito? Basketball player ba ito? Oh. Beauty queen, ganon. Uh, But before beauty queendom, uh, showbiz muna. Yes. Right? At yun nga ang pagbalik nila ng Pilipinas. Yes. Nagbago bigla ang buhay but which seemed inevitable anyway dahil parehong artista rin ang mga magulang mo. 
were in the States, Mother Lily went to the States and offered my dad a comeback. This was 1986. Mm -hmm. So, ang ganda ng offer na tambala nila ni Susan Roses na hinahanap ng mga fans. So, my dad went back to the Philippines, na iwan kami doon, and then sabi ni daddy, I think it's time na umuwi na tayo sa Pilipinas dahil maganda yung mga opportunities dito. So, okay. yun, we left the, the States for good in 1987. Hindi naman kayo nangimi na babalik kayo ng Pilipinas from America. You say you loved your life there. Yes. Well, Oo. I was excited for the new adventure. Ano meron sa Pilipinas, di ba? Kasi hindi ko na matandaan yung buhay ng Pilipinas noon. I was only three. I was a toddler. Um, so parang excited ako. Ano meron sa Pilipinas? And I remember back then, nagtatricycle pa kami. Uso sa village na nagtatricycle. So... I enjoy ko yung buhay ko sa Pilipinas when I when I arrived because I was surrounded by family, cousins, di ba? And daming Pilipino biglang dami ko palang kamag-ana, kanta dami ko kalaro. And at that time also, uh, I remember Mother Lily and Donna Villa of Golden Lion Films said nang cute cute ko daw. Oh, pag nag-artista yan sa akin mo na ibigay, sabi ni Mother Lily ha. And medyo mabagal si Mother noon. So nakapasok si Tita Donna Villa of Golden Lion. So I did my first two movies with Tita Donna of Golden Lion Films. I did mga lahing pikutin with my dad. Where are you, Uncle? Rufa, nandiyan pa ba? Nandiyan pa ba? Nak! Takot ka pala sa kanila. Magsusumbong pa naman ako sa inyo para gulpihin sila. Rufa, hindi ko pwedeng gulpihin si Mang Joaquin. Hmm? Sino yun? May shot ka yun eh. Naku, baka paulan na ako ng bala nun. And takbo, bilis takbo with my brothers and Herbert Bautista. Mm. Anong pangalan nyo? Hmm? Eh baka naman English speaking yan. At tingnan mo, mukhang mga Amerikano ang titusoy pa. Sino ba yung leading lady ko? Ano ba yan? Sabi niya, anak ni Eddie Gutierrez. Ah, okay. Eh ano pa ako nun eh. Parang <laughs> oh. super straight lang ako talaga. Alam mo yung parang... Oh. Oh, hindi ka nene, pa marunong nene. umarte. Oo, tsaka oh, naka, oh. ano pa ako, nakasalamin ako noon. Oo, oh, oo. Oh, na oh. parang pink na bilog kasi I had bad eyesight as okay. a child. Tapos uh, frizzy pa yung hair ko, yung naturally curly I know, hair. I remember diba? that hair. Oo, oh, oh. oh, 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 nga. Pre, pre, ano, bonding. Ka pa noon. Pre-bonding. Pre-bonding <laughs> yan. Hair so bonding. talagang kulot ka? Kulot talaga Ah, kulot ako. ka talaga. Naturally okay. curly hair. Nagustuhan mo ang pag-aartista? Kaagad? Nagustuhan ko kaagad kasi... I guess that's entertainment served as a training ground for me. Welcome to Saturday Entertainment, and here is Rufa. Yes, good afternoon po sa inyong lahat, and welcome to Saturday Entertainment. Nice. Okay. From Mahiyain, oh sige, sabi ni Kuya Jerms, huwag kang mag-alala, papasok kita sa Monday group. Diyan ka na magte-training, matututo kang kumanta, sumayaw, mag-hosting. And I think doon nawala talaga yung hiya ko. And of course, Mother Lily gave me a string of projects na pang baguets, Diba uso nun yung pito-pito film? So we would do a movie in pitong days. Wow. So ang dami nun. Oo. And I think nawala little by little yung hiya ko. Ayun. Yes. So how many movies uh, all in all? I think I've done more than 50 films. 50? Wow. 50 films. Talaga? Which I remember during my youth, yung pinaka-favorite ko or most memorable was Lino Brocas, Makiusap Ka Sa Diyos. Hi. Hi. Ang galing ako sa inyo. Sabi ng maid nyo, nandito ka raw. Um, may kailangan ka ba sa akin? Wala. Curious lang ako sa anak mo. Meron na ba siyang pediatrician? Baka gusto mo siyang ilipat sa akin. Nandyan lang ang klinik ko sa... Kompletong vaccination shots ni Nino, ba? Yan ang favorite mo. Yan ang favorite ko. Why? Kasi parang yun yung beginning of yung pagiging totoong aktres ko. Dahil hinawakan ako ni the late Lino Broca. And he had so many plans for me. Unfortunately, he passed away mm -hmm. early. Yun yung mga exciting times talaga. I think, uh, ibang-iba yung showbiz nun. Kasi masaya, and lahat kayo magkakaibigan. Oo, no? Tsaka mm -hmm. ano, parang times were just simpler then. In the industry, di ba? Yes, I'm just so thankful na hanggang ngayon, naaalala pa rin ako ng mga tumangkilik sa akin noon, you know, now they're older, or yung mga fans club ko, nasa iba-iba mga bansa na, and they're now successful working right. in other countries. Oo, oh, oh. so meron ka palang, ano, 
tunay na actress moment. Yes. Na, meron palang ganon, di ba? So, um, TV, movie, um, ano pa yung pagkakaiba sa nakikita mo? Ang daming platforms ngayon, di ba? Mm -hmm. Social media, uh, and so many um, smaller networks. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what do you think about that? Parang okay ba para sa mga artista yon? Well, like I said, I think you're very lucky kung noon ka pinanganak. Kasi dekada yung paghahari at pagre-reina mo. Okay. The viewing habits have changed, especially after the pandemic. Everyone, you know, got stuck at home. I mean, I had to learn how to watch YouTube, which oh. I never really cared for before. Oh. Bigla akong nag-Netflix, uh, all these streaming. Everything on demand. Everything on demand, di ba? Hindi mo na kailangan umupo sa bahay mo. Ay, 4 o'clock, panoorin natin si ano, oh. si Rufa sa The Buzz. Oh. Ngayon, pwede mo nang panoorin kahit anong oras. Oh. Uwi ka ng 2 a.m. O oh, sige, I wanna watch Miss K. Right. Oh, let's watch her. Balitang <laughs> K daily, oh, oh, dati. Diba? Mm -mm. So, yun. So, I think, I am just grateful that I was able to experience those happy times before. Oh, oh, Ibang no. iba na talaga ngayon. Right. And, but there's more job opportunities also now yes. dahil ang daming platform. So you're still busy. You're still busy acting. I'm still busy acting, oh. hosting, and uh, ayun, I think, mm. ano rin ako, social media, yan. Oh. Natututo na tayo, di ba? Mag-tweet more, right. mag-IG more, mag-TikTok. Right. I think you just have to learn how to adapt with the times. So are you a vlogger? Not yet. Really? Not yet. Come on, how can that I be? I know. Si ang hinihintay talaga ng tao yung vlog ni Rufa. Kasi sinasabi nila. Baka kung ano lumabas sa bibig niya, <laughs> hihintayin talaga ninyo kung ano 'yon. So three years na akong ano, um kino-convince mag-vlog. But you know, it takes a lot of time, effort, energy, 'di ba? Yes. So I think maybe this year I can start. Tingnan natin. Please guest on my show, ha? Oh, oh, naman. I don't even know what I'm gonna do yet. I don't know yet. I don't know Malay yet. mo, parang reality show. You're, gumawa oh. na kayo ng reality show, yes, diba? Yes, it takes guts to be a Gutierrez. Mm -mm. So, I I don't know. Let's see. Oh, Pero I'm open, the diba? I'm open to oh, vlogging. Oh, yes. At sa pag-aartista niya, hindi pa naging sapat, eh ano nga ba naman ang gagawin mo pag ikaw ay 5'10 at gorgeous? Eh di syempre, sasali tayo ng beauty contest. Yes! Diba? So, who convinced you to join well, Bilbini? It was uh, Mrs. Stella Araneta. I remember I was 17 years old noon. And then sinabi niya, oh, Rufa, you will represent the country in the look of the year pageant. This was uh, owned by John Casablancas of Elite Modeling Search in New York. And at that time, 17, yun talagang pinakapayat ko. Alam mo yung 23 yung waistline ko, proportion yung katawan ko. Tumangkad na ako ng 5'9 and a half. But I was still mataba to be a model because back then, ang uso was the Kate Moss look. Right. Yung parang heroine chic na talagang <laughs> hindi na kumakain talaga. Oh, super. Eh ako voluptuous talaga ako. So, wala na nangyari sa akin sa New York. Um, although, they got me here. So, the, the following year, sabi ko hindi pa ako ready kasi busy pa ako sa career ko. So, when I went to Mrs. Araneta to tell her na hindi ako sasari this year, 60% of the applicants walked out. Na stress sila sa akin. Ha? Oo, na ay sasali si Rufa Gutierrez. Ay hindi na tayo sasali. Ay, Kasi <laughs> ang deadline noon was 12 midnight. Mm. Dumating ako ng 11:45 p.m. Hindi ko sinasadya galing talaga ako sa shoot ng Blowing Bubbles with Zorin Legaspi. And talaga, I remember talaga. Aww. And we came from Puerto Azul. So I was late and I wanted to tell her that I'm not joining. But since everyone walked out na at parang 20 candidates na lang naiwan, sabi ko, aba, takot sila sa akin. Eh, hindi nga ako nag-prepare pa. I might as well do it, diba? If not, then when? So, so pwede palang sumali sa beauty contest ang artista? Pwede. Pwede. And at that oh, time, oh. kukonti lang kami. Pag sinabi mo artista ka, hindi ka sumasali ng beauty pageant. Yes, bihirang oh. bihira. Now kasi everyone's an artista. A host, diba? Right. Oo. I think it's more competitive now. Hindi ka kinabahan? So, alam mo yung ganun, ang daming babae, lahat magaganda, and then sasali ka sa ganun. You were confident. Well, I think I was confident here because yun nga, trained na ako, sanay na ako to be in front of the camera, um, TV host na ako noon. Siguro, 
training ko rin yung nangyari sa look of the year. So pagpunta ko dun sa London and South Africa to represent the Philippines, confident na ako. Miss Philippines! Hi, I'm Charmaine Rufa Gutierrez. I'm 19 years old and I come from the Philippines. Well, I tell her to believe in, self, in herself because it's not only physical beauty that's important, it's also inner beauty. Like what the little prince said, what is essential is invisible to the naked eye. And I believe that character and personality is more important than physical beauty. And I was having so much fun kasi wala pang social media noon. Right. What happens now kasi to the girls is parang nata-threaten na sila, nabubully sila online. Kami, we were just having a great time. So aside from meeting all of these beautiful ladies from all over the world, you know, I was able to represent myself in the best way possible. And I was also having fun. Those are memories that I'll always cherish. Wow. Yeah. Second runner-up is Miss Philippines. What does it take to win, really? I mean, also to represent your country like that in a beauty contest. Well, being a judge now, I always look for the X factor. Uh -huh. Someone that doesn't try too hard. Because you know when they're very rehearsed, um, someone who's confident, you know, someone that, that can show their uniqueness. Uh -oh. And I think if you're authentic, if you're real, and you really want to win, you'll do everything that it takes. Right. You know, all of the ladies now that join beauty pageants, they want to win. Mm. You know, they want to represent their, their, their country. Correct. I think you can Siempre. see it. Oo, oo naman. Biro mo papasok ka doon na ayaw mong manalo. And then for me, I think the last question is the, is the deal breaker. Mm -mm. As a judge ha, kasi mm -mm. ang dami magaganda eh. Mm -mm. Pero yung last question and how they carry themselves and how they answer and how they treat other people. Kasi pwede ka naman sobrang ganda, pero pag masama yung ugali mo... Lumalabas uh, din yun sa isang contest, no? Ay, lalabas contest, din yun, no? kasi ninakawan nga ako ng sapatos, eh. Bakit? Someone stole my shoes and Because? hid it under... They found it in another candidate's room. Ay! <laughs> Para mas stress ako. Oh. So, may mga ganon. The, the girls are very catty. What? So, you should just, you know, not deal with them and just enjoy your moment. Okay. Kindly dip your hand in there and pull out a name. We'll see who it is. Okay, here we go. Who is that? At si James Bond ba ang host? Wow. Yes. Pogi. Super guapo niya. Super guapo. Super guapo niya. And it was, I think Jackie Chan was one of the judges and Vanessa Williams right. was the one that asked the question. And I played the role of uh, Vanessa Williams. When I came back to do a comeback, in ABS-CBN's I Love Betty La Fea with Bea Alonso. Daniela Valencia? Do I know you? I don't know, but I'm so excited to see you because we're not going to be able to see you as a president, right? Go! What happened? Vanessa Williams asked me the question in Miss World and then I portrayed her years later. So... Parang galing, di ba? Oo, oh, oo, oh, oo. Oh. Pero hindi ang pagiging beauty queen ang nagtulak sa'yo to say, I do. Di ba? <laughs> yung ano, pagiging artista mo. You had a project abroad. Mm -hmm. Yes. At ayun na, nakilala na niya. Siyempre, ganda-ganda ni Rufa, di ba? Uh, nakilala na niya yung akala niya at that time was going to be forever. Yes. Right? Ilmas. Ayan. Si Ilmas, kung paano siya naligo noon, very flashy siya. Talagang sinundan niya ako. We were in the Cannes Film Festival kasi nagkaroon ako ng project doon. I was already working in the States as a TV presenter and as a TV host and I was gonna cover the Cannes Film Festival. He was there and he wanted to buy a yacht. So, ayun, nag-meet kami and then sinundan ako sa hotel, nag-iwan ng mga roses doon. Tapos kung saan-saan, basta nakikita ko na lang siya lagi. And... You know, I think Pero nagwapuhan ka na sa kanya. Oo, oh, oh, gwapo oh, oh. naman siya talaga. Oh, oh. Mediterranean features, dresses well. Galing magsalita. Very refined kumilos, gentleman. Pero alam mong lalaki. Lalaking mm -hmm. lalaki yung dating. So, you know, we fell in love. And uh, that brought me to live in Istanbul. Wow. And that was a big change for me. Kasi at that time, I was also very busy. Uh, tatlo yung projects ko noon sa television. And... Uh, Siguro at that moment, ah, 
29 years old na ako. Pwede ko nang tapusin tong chapter na to and move on to the next chapter. Because, you know, as a young woman, ang goal ko talaga noon was to be a wife and to have kids. Di ba lahat naman tayo, especially mm-hmm. yung mga makalumang panahon, you know, there's a time na i-give up na natin yung career natin mm-hmm. and we want to be a homemaker. Right. So, nangyari yung time na yon and uh, nagpakasal kami dito sa Pilipinas and then I moved na to Istanbul. So, it was a big, big transformation and a big change for me kasi wala akong alam sa gawain bahay, wala akong alam sa pagluluto, sa pag-aalaga and uh, very career-oriented ako noon. So, talagang nahirapan ako. Mm. So, uh, Miss from Miss World, Reina, na, parang literally Reina ng mundo, hindi ba? Biglang nag-household chores ka sa Istanbul, hindi ka nahirapan? Eh, sanay ka naman. Oh, hindi Oo. naman ako nag-household chores, pero it's more of uh, living with a husband. Um, back to back yun eh. Lorene was born and then after seven months, nabuntis na naman ako. So, parang kambal sila. They're only 11 <laughs> months apart. Okay. So, medyo nahirapan ako doon. Tapos, paano bang uh, mag-submit sa lalaki? Kasi sabi ni Mami Rufa, eto ha, pakinggan mo. Kaya kami nagtagal ng daddy mo. Pag mainit ang ulo ng isa, kailangan ikaw magpakumbaba. Pag ikaw mainit ang ulo, dapat si Ilmas magpakumbaba din. Huwag mong sabayan yung galit or else hindi kayo magkakasundo. So, I remember that. And then my mom would always say, asawa mo na yan. Hindi yan boyfriend. Kailangan mag-submit ka. Okay. Pero pasado, mo. Pero pasado si Ilma sa nanay. Kay pasado Annabelle. naman siya. Kay Annabelle oh, oh. Rama. O oh, kasi malambing naman si Ilma. So, mommy, how Niligawan din niya si Annabelle. Niligawan niya si mommy at saka si daddy. Ah, oh, wow. So, tawag niya daddy. So, mabait naman si Ilmas. Mabait hmm. naman siya. Okay. So, pag, pasado. Pag, ano, pasado. Pag malambing, pag Uh-oh. hindi nagsiselos, mabait. Ah, gano'n. Nagiging matapang lang siya pag nagsiselos. Selos talaga ang naging problem. Yes. No? So, all the adjustments for love. Yes. Love talaga. Na-inlove ka rin sa kanya. Ay, oo. Sa so, tingin ko talagang siya yung uh, true love ko. Hmm. You know, yung lahat binigay mo, lahat sinakropisyo mo para sa sa isang tao na mm. naging asawa ko naman. So, I think it's all worth it. Kasi, there was a time na parang, okay, boyfriend, boyfriend mo yan, sige, you know, mm. we can break up with him and move on to our careers, di ba? Pero pag asawa talaga at may mga anak kayo, lahat gagawin mo mm. para maging buo ang pamilya mo, para maging okay yung pagsasama mo. Marami ka mga sakripisyo na akala mong hindi mo kayang gawin. Pero at that moment, magagawa mo dahil sa pagmamahal mo sa pamilya mo. Right. Oh. I don't know if I'll ever be able to feel that way again. Uh, kung si Elma ang true love ko, alam kong darating din yung forever love ko. Mm-mm. Kung sino yung lalaking ka-holding hands ko hanggang sa huli. So, naniniwala pa rin naman ako sa forever. Ah, ayo. Yes. Who's that person? I mean, a description. I, I just want to take my time. Mm-mm. I'm not into whirlwind romances na, ay, ang cute-cute, talaga, pakasal tayo. Nasa... Hindi, oh, hindi oh. pwedeng ganon. Kasi, iniisip ko lagi yung mga anak ko eh. I have two girls, and ayoko rin naman silang padalos-dalos din sa decision when it comes to finding a life partner. Mm-mm. Because finding a life partner can really break you or make you. Right. Diba? That's true. And That's it can true. be a... I was very traumatized. Mm-hmm. So, being a mom... Pinlano mo na dalawa talaga? Gusto ko sana marami kasi we grew up in a happy home. Ah, oo nga. Diba? Na maraming anak, magulo, maingay. Mami ko, ah, nagsisigaw sa bahay. At least with the girls, we can do things together. Um, you know, I mean, they're with me. So, parang me and my two girls, kami yung cute little family namin. Right. So, oh. titingnan natin kung ano Seven months yari. apart? Uh, yes. Parang twins, no? Parang twins. Eh, oh, kasi... Oh. Nagkaroon ng snowstorm sa Turkey and we were locked up for seven days. So, ayun, before oh. I knew it, ha, buntis na naman ako? Ay, grabe. Buti ni Snow ang pangalan ni Venice. I no? know, di ba? Oh. Although, maputi siya. Mukha siyang Snow White. Oo. Oh, oh. So, how, how, how are you as a mom? I think my... I mean, not now. Then. How were you then? I think my life changed when I became a mother back then. Kasi before, it was just about me eh. Uh-oh. Spoiled ako, only girl. So lahat ako, ako. Ako lagi may attention. Pero yung nag- nagkaroon ako ng dalawang anak na babae and I became a mother, ay, 
it's not about me anymore. It's about them. I have two human beings that I really have to take care of, um, direct their lives, their paths, ano mangyayari sa kanila. It's not easy, ah, because mm -hmm. I trust my children so much, but you don't trust the world, di ba? Mm -hmm. So, I think it was the best decision I ever made. Talaga? I would never change them and that episode in my life or anything else. So, how different is Lauren from Venice? Lauren is Lorid. It's actually Loreen. Loreen. Uh oh, Loreen means uh, lullaby. Ah, okay. Loreen Gabriella, and okay. um, Venice naman is Loran. So it's Loreen Loran. Loran means delicate, but Venice is far from delicate. So see, si Loreen, I think she's very um, parang sociable. She loves talking, meeting people. Pero ano siya, distant when it comes to love. Si Venice naman, very sensitive na matapang. So, I think they're alike in many ways. They're like me. I think they're independent. Talaga. At saka yung mga bata ngayon, hindi, hindi na madaling ma-in love. Totoo. Parang career-oriented at saka they're, they're more focused on their studies. Hindi ka nag-aalala. Hindi ka nag-aalala na like Lorene is now alone sa Amerika. Well, she's turning 20. I feel so old. So, <laughs> <di> ba? <laughs> oh. She's turning 20 and sabi niya, Mommy, I feel so old. 20 na ako. I'm like, Lorene, if you feel old and you're only 20, ano na lang ako? Oh, oh. Ancient, di ba? Right. Pero hindi ako nag because I know that I raised them to be strong, independent women. Mm -hmm. And uh, kausap ko lang siya kanina and sabi niya, you know, a lot of her friends, they're just so into their boyfriends. But Lorene really has goals and dreams in life. And same with Venice. Mm -hmm. diba? Venice kasi is younger and um, she has one more year of high school to go before she goes to college. So nakikita ko naman na they're driven. And I think it's because they see how hard I work. Mm -hmm. And they see that, listen, even if wala yung tatay nyo, I was able to succeed on my own. Mm -hmm. Gusto kong yan ang, yun ang i-impart ko sa kanila, that they can succeed on their own. Right. Don't rely on anyone. So talagang ano, itinaguyod mo talaga yung dalawa mong anak mag-isa. Mag-isa. With the help of my family, of course. Yes. You know, I mean, mga titos nila, Chard, uh, Mond, Elvis, all my brothers, and my mom and my dad. I think importante talaga nagkaroon ka ng strong foundation. Oh. Kasi when I came back from, from Turkey, they were there to really support me and to guide me. So, kumbaga, napilay ako or naputol yung isang wing ko, they were there to take care of me. So, wow. I, I say that I'm, I'm thankful and I'm grateful. Oh, naman. Family. Really Family is really ev yeah. everything. Stood for you, no? Yes. Kumusta namang lola si Annabel? She's a doting lola. Really? Spoiled. Talaga? Spoiled talaga yung mga bata sa kanya. And si mommy, ibang klase. Kung meron siya talaga, she's very generous. Mm -hmm. Kung wala, wala ka maasahan sa kanya, <laughs> sa kanya uh -oh. di ba? But I think, um, Ano siya, mataray din in terms of ano, being protective. Parang, oh, wag muna kayo mag-boyfriend, ha? Sino na naman yan? Aawayin ko yung lalaki yan. Very typical. Old school. <laughs> diba? My dad naman, Lorene, Venice, house school. Uh, what did you do today? What did you learn? Ganyan. Ah, yung nanay mo ang masermo. Oo, masermo. Oh, oh. Alam ba ng, alam ng uh, dalawa mong daughters yung reputation ni Annabel Rama? Yes, I said, you're lucky that she's not your mom. At least I'm cooler. <laughs> diba? Ako kasi, I'm oh. good cop, bad cop. Diba? Mm. So, kailangan balance. Best friend, and at the same time, mom and dad ka. At the same time, sabi ko, I'm also your friend. Kung may crush kayo, ako dapat una makaalam. Okay. So, okay. it's more difficult, I think. Oh, oh. So, tulad ng uh, kinalakihan mo, you do chores in the house, Parang ganun din siguro ang palaki mo dito kay Lorene, no? She's alone. Yes. And uh, gusto daw, sabi, sabi mo sa akin kanina, nagkukwentuhan kami kanina, gusto magtrabaho ng kanyang anak. Yes. Ang pinapayagan mo naman. Sabi ko, sige, gusto daw niya mag-side hustle. Sabi ko, what's a side hustle, di ba? Mm -hmm. Sabi niya, I wanna make extra money. Sabi ko, okay, so anong gusto mong gawin? mag internship daw siya. Sabi ko, okay. Sabi, sabi ko, ano pang, ano pang gusto mong gawin? Oh, I wanna be a babysitter or a dog walker. Or, sabi ko, a babysitter. Sabi ko, Loreen, you've never, uh, took you never care. took care of a baby before. Mamaya, mabalian pa yan. I-demanda ka pa. <laughs> oh. Maglakad ka na lang ng aso. I mean, oh. I guess she just wants to, the feeling of how it is na hindi siya hingi ng hingi. 
Tama I think naman that's yun. the point. Uh, she's... Or she wants to buy more things. Exactly. Diba? Uy, malaki ang bayad, ah. Parang per hour yan. O per hour. Per hour, dollars. So ako naman, diba, oh. there are days na pagod ka sa work. Oh, mommy, allowance. So meron silang set allowance. Mm. And then, sasabihin niya, Mommy, everything's so expensive now in the States. I need extra. Ganyan, ganyan. So syempre, magbibigay ka ng extra. Mamaya may hihingi din siya kay mommy pala on the side. So siguro, pag narinig na niya ako na, O, oh, Lorene ha, kailangan mag-aral ka na, ganyan, ganyan. So, magtrabaho ka na. So I think they want to feel what it's like to work and get a paycheck and be satisfied after a long day of work, di ba? Right. Ganoon naman talaga. So, and I think they'll eventually get there. Pero ang maganda naman sa kwento ninyo ni Ilmas is now... And this is new. Mm -hmm. You finally allowed that your kids are also with him. Yes. Diba? After 15 years, Lorene and Venice were able to reunite with their Baba. That's what they call him, Baba. And, you know, para sa akin, natutuwa ako, naiyak ako when I see that the kids are happy, you know, that they're able to spend time with their dad, no matter how short, 8 to 10 days lang yon. Pero nakita nila in the flesh yung kanilang tatay and that he exists. So, I'm very happy for them. And sana tuloy-tuloy na yung communication. And who knows, you know, we might uh, reconcile as co-parents. As co-parents, <laughs> why not? Yes. Okay, pero uh, okay naman sa dalawang babies mo. Okay, yeah. They like it, they like the idea. They like the idea, and they love Turkey. Sabi nila, mm -hmm. mommy, let's go, let's visit Turkey. I love the food, I love the culture. Ang ganda pala sa Istanbul. So, ayokong ipagkait sa kanila yon. Mm -hmm yung heritage at yung background ng daddy nila. Kasi that's a part of them. Right. And we can't erase that. And you don't mind, you're a real mom. So mm. sa pelikula, nagiging mom ka rin. Of course. Oh, oh. Sabihin kaya natin sa kanila yung totoo. Hindi nga pwede yun. Okay lang. Pero kasi, alam mo, hindi ka naman mukhang mom. Alam mo, there's so many time, uh, many kinds of mom, mm. di ba? Like you can be a fashionable mom, uh, a hardworking mom, you can even be a lost young mom. Or a young mom. A young mom, uh -oh. diba? Iba iba naman versions ng mom. And uh -oh. even if you're not a mom, you can have, you can be a mom to a fur baby, diba? Right. So, para sa akin, I, I love being a mom. Uh -oh. Kasi it really changed me and the way I perceive things. At saka okay lang sa'yo na you play moms. Ang ibang uh -oh. artista kasi, diba, ayaw nila? Eh, iba na ang panahon mm. ngayon. Okay lang na maging mommy ka. Kasi, Correct. and my kids naman are 19 and 20 na. Mm -mm. Turning 20 uh -oh. and turning 19. I mean, later on, later on, um, when you're much older and they too are much older, um, what do you want them to become? Parang, kasi ako bilang nanay na rin ngayon, of course, they're like toddler, four-year-olds. I have to cute. live to be 120 years old. <laughs> <laughs> Paano kaya yun? Okay. Um, how do you want them to grow up to be? What kind of human beings do you want them to be? Uh, ano ang gusto mong mm. masigurado mo na kahihinat na ni Loreen at Venice pag laki nila at wala ka na? Well, unang-una, I want them to be God-fearing individuals because if they're God-fearing, everything else will follow, di ba? They'll be good citizens. Uh, I want them to be leaders. Uh, I told Loreen and Venice na, you know, do community work as well. Di ba? It's, I think, having a kind heart, being hardworking, whatever they choose to, to do with their lives in terms of career, I'll be there to support them. You know, I think uh, both of them are at that stage where they're still confused. Diba? One day, Lorene wants to be a lawyer. Another day, Ay, oh, oh. Venice wants to be a singer, right. a gemologist. Iba iba. So, parang, nag -iba pa yan. So, whatever it is that they choose to be, as long as they're happy, and as long as they love what they're doing, because you have to find joy and what you're doing. Because when times get hard, pagod na pagod ka na, kundi ka enjoy sa trabaho mo, magre-reflect yun, di ba? Correct. Maging masungit ka. Uh -oh. So I think, um, as long as they're good individuals. Okay. So if they want to be beauty queens, pwede rin. Pwede rin. If they want. Ah, yeah, really? I'll support Artista, them. Artista, pwede rin. Pwede rin. As long as tapusin muna nila yung pag-aaral nila. Ah, okay. Ilan years na lang. Doreen only has two more years. Correct, correct. And uh, Venice has four years. It's mm -hmm. not like before na you have to join when you're 13, 14 years old. Right. Ngayon, pwede ka naman sumali at do your own thing. Pag, kahit 20 ka. Yes. Diba? They pwede even take artista. moms now, I think. Hindi ba? Yes. Oo, oh, oh, oh. mga mothers. At saka ano ngayon, diba? You have your own channel. So you can play around on social media. 
Correct. And I think oh. that's the future. So now let's spill the coffee. Spill the coffee. Yeah, spill the coffee on the G. <laughs> on the G. Okay, si Rufa G, kilalang anak ni Annabel Rama. How was that? Alam mo, ito ha, syempre, nasa news kami. Mm -hmm. E din nakikita namin lahat ng mga bangayan. Yung mga bangayan, yung mga iyakan. Ang mami mo ang tagapagsalita mo. By design, yes. by design. No, alam mo, before, my mom and I uh, would have a relationship wherein hindi niya gusto yung naniligaw sa akin. Tatawag yan ngayon sa mga nanay nila or mismo sa mga guys na naniligaw. Sa so, mga nanay nung mga naniligaw sa'yo? Oo, parang, hoy, yung anak mo ha, palayo mo yan kay Rufa, ganyan ganyan. Oh. May gatas pa yan sa labi, mga ganun. Terror talaga. Bakit so, kasi course, older yung lumiligaw sa'yo? Hindi ganun? naman older, pero kasi hindi pa ako nage-18 noon. Ah. Or kahit na hindi ako nage-18 up to now. <laughs> <laughs> Nakikialam pa rin si mommy. I think oh. a mom will never stop becoming a mom, no matter yeah. how old you are. Okay. And my mom is really unique. But you know what? When I became Pero a mom... Pero ilan lang yung mom na tumatawag sa nanay ng luminigaw, I know, ha? di ba? Or, <laughs> pinaharang niya sa gate. Ha? Huh? Oo, oh, umuwi ka na dong. Umuwi ka na. Ano? Parang oh. kiniterrorize niya. But how was that for you? Well, of course, at that moment, di ba? Parang... Galit ako, you know, let me be, I'm already 18, I'm already 19. But looking back in hindsight, nagpapasalamat ako sa mami ko kasi mm -hmm. hindi ako naging paki pakirawa. Pariwara. Pariwara. <laughs> <laughs> hindi ako naging pariwara. Yung parang nagpapasalamat ako sa kanya because when I had my own kids, I realized, ah, ganito palang feeling ng isang nanay. Mm -hmm. She's just overprotective because I'm the only girl that's a pagmamahal. Mm -hmm. She just sh shows it in a way na unique. So, even if my mom and I had differences back then, I always appreciate her. And siguro, imagine raising me and five strong-willed sons. Ang hirap nun, ha? Now, naiisip mo na yun. Ngayon, naiisip ko na yun. Na-realize ko yun. Na talagang, na-appreciate kong mommy ko more. And, you know, I just wish I could be half of how she is. Ganun siya ka-fierce, katindi, pag-aalaga niya sa amin, pag-aalaga niya sa daddy ko, managing the whole household, and at one point, our careers. You know, I think she's a superwoman. She is. She even took care of the career of your brothers. Yes, all of us. Oo, lahat kayo. Sa tingin ko, bihira yun para sa isang nanay. Iba na yung tingin ko sa mga nanay. Aside from the fact na sila yung ilaw ng tahanan, parang... You also... Parang yung, yung mommy mo yata is more than ilaw. Parang flood, parang flood light siya. <laughs> Or bonfire. Maybe bonfire. Siya ang bonfire yes, ng tahanan niyo. Yes, diba? Nyo. Diba? Oh, parang oh, ganun oh. yun. So, oh. you know, sometimes you tell her, Ma, chill. Thank God, chill na siya. Oh, oh. So, chill uh, na siya ngayon? Chill I cannot siya ngayon. imagine. Totoo. Ang problema ng mommy ko yung temper niya. Oh. So we always tell her, Ma, please, you know, she's very impulsive. Mm -mm. And before, ganyan din ako, impulsive. Diba? Ginagawa ako yung mga things na... Gusto ko, and then, nagsisisi ako after. Mm -mm. But, um, you know, I, I, I think uh, I told my kids na at least me, I'm a cool mom. Right. So, hindi ka mangingi alam sa mga lumiligaw kay Avenis at Lorene? I'll say to it, uh, I'll say it in a nice way. <laughs> diba? Parang, you won't call their parents? No. I won't. <laughs> well, depende. I think kasi they're mature na eh. Oh. Sa tingin ko, Miss Kay, parang nasurpassan nila yung time na yan. Kasi, Uh, 18 na sila, 19. You know, dapat alam na nila yan. Mm -hmm. But if they need my advice, I'll be here for them. Wow. Yeah. So was Annabelle also Annabelle to the girls of Chard? The girlfriends? Yeah. Ganon din siya. Mapili din siya pagdating sa girlfriend. O dahil lang sa babae ka. I think mapili siya. But I think with me, kayang-kaya niya akong ano... Away-awayin. Parang si Chard oh. hindi, hindi naman. Oh. Although, di ba sinasabi nila yung mga lalaki, mas malapit sa nanay. Oh, oh. Pero only girl, only girl oh, ka Only girl ka di ba? Buti na lang si mommy loves, ano, my, uh, well, Chard's wife, si Sarah and Alexa, mm -hmm. and uh, Shams now. So, I think my mom gets along with all her daughters-in-law. Oh, wow! Yeah. Parati kang may pasabog. Parati may pasabog, <laughs> may bago, di ba? Pinag-uusapan. Yan ang Rufa Gutierrez. So, ano ba 
yun? Is that innate in your DNA? Ano ba yun? I don't know. I just think, uh, wala, wala mo akong ginagawa. Pinag-uusapan lang talaga. I Oo. don't know why. Pag pumasok na siya sa kwarto, sa isang event, kahit gano'n man kalaki yung event, mapapansin talaga siya. Siguro sa height ko. Para, kasi para akong higante. Ano ka ba? You kasi can't maganda miss ka. me. Ganun. Oo. Talagang ano, you light up a room because of your smile and your laughter. No, and walang bola ha, talaga. I think, Miss Kay, we just always have to be positive in life. Diba? We can't... Um, live and surround ourselves with negativity. And kung meron man, eh, we should just rise above it and be calm and embrace the good things and see the best in people. Because right. even if someone's a negative person, I'm sure kahit papano, kahit 2%, may kabutihan pa rin sa taong yan. Wow. We just have to see it, di ba? Oh, oh. Not everybody knows Rufa this way. Really? Totoo! Kasi siyempre, iniisip nila, anak ni Annabel. Tapos, maraming mga naging controversies in showbiz. You know what I mean? But to really know you as a person, cheers! Cheers! I think you're They living think I'm your... funny. Oh, you're super why. funny. You're super funny. And naughty. Magdahan-dahan ka. Delikado, delikado.